what's up gamers baby smooth here once again with another video today we'll be talking about a new dungeon and with that new dungeon come new weapons and perhaps the greatest thing to happen to realm ever a fishing mini game so how the dungeon works there are three different bosses depending on the order that you get them you will have to fight one to two to three phases of them and my takeaway is that they are not all created equal. The pink boss fucks. And that's because each boss has a specific effect, especially during the lantern phase. Now, the pink boss's effect during the lantern phase is sicken, which, ooh, it's really fun being sickened and having a million bullets on the screen. It actually is kind of fun but this is a little overtuned and a little hard to deal with. It really increases the stakes to dodging, as we've seen in patience phase and all that, but it's a little tough. I think we'll get used to it, but like, I have 1.5K health at some points and I still can't make it through. You can see a lot of massacres happening um, in the footage, I imagine, and it's just rough out there. Anyway, I would say the next hardest to get would be the blue guy and he quiets you. Um, now you may not be thinking that's too tough, but it is kind of tough. And when I said one to three phases, I didn't even mention that the last person you get will have a special finale. If you get pink last, just Nexus. I'm kidding. It's doable, but you're in for a tough time. I don't exactly love the setup of the RNG of getting really hard stuff or really easy stuff depending if you get pink first or last um i hope that that's something that is taken into consideration in the dungeon um you know i'm not against unpredictability but i do think that some balance changes are necessary for players to have a good time and not complain about you know one in every three dungeons is just screwed uh because of the order here next up is the fishing mini game now you can see on screen the fishing only happens when you've beaten the bosses, which is something a lot of us won't be able to do on the first day. I did get a complete, but I died at the very end. It's like when you get the double white bag at Dama. The guy literally said the finale is over and I died at that very moment. Thank you, Sicken. It's very nice to meet you, Sicken. I love you. Thank you so much. But anyway, here's my friend Moo fishing. And he's doing a great job, kind of. He said it was fun. Does it look that fun? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm excited to try it myself as soon as testing servers work a little bit better and I'm home again, but you know, it's fishing. The rewards are pretty good. Now you can get anything from feed power to impressive nil drops to UT armors to a piece of tofu that will make the whole dungeon easy mode. But you didn't hear it from me. I mean, it's all hearsay. It's all the testing server. Who knows what will stick and what will not. All right, gamers, it's time to talk about the cool new weapons and armor and abilities that this cool new dungeon brings with it. To start us off, we're going to look at the staff, which shoots really fast. Here are the stats. Now, interestingly, on shoot, 7.5% chance to release a festival spirit consuming 20 mana. You can see my mana going down in the Nexus here. Um, 600 damage over 6 seconds, explodes after 6 seconds, dealing blah blah blah, you guys can read. Uh, listen, if you're thinking that this looks like the wand from the cemetery, you're right. It, it kind of does. And, you know, they kind of act in a similar way, where they go and they explode on things. Next up, we'll talk about the flower and kimono. Uh, on ability use, it summons another spirit, but this one heals your homies. And that's pretty nice. You know, it says it synergizes with other spirits. I don't know, you know, if we're supposed to know what the heck that means just yet, but all of these armors, all of these things say that they will synergize with other spirits. Um, I don't know if that means that, you know, the healing will synergize with another healing spirit or not. But, uh, who knows? Now, an interesting thing about this staff that you might have missed is its rate of fire. 160%. 
Do you know what I think of when I think of a high rate of fire on a staff? Ta-da! Let's take a look at this. And then let's take a look at this. And then maybe let's take a look at this and oh my god, is a new meta going to be born? You shoot so fast, it's kind of ridiculous. It's going to be crazy. There, There's going to be a build based around dexterity, uh, based around dealing damage with your primal arcana. There has to be. There's no way that this is not going to be entirely busted if it's released as is. Next up, we're going to the wand, to infinity and the wand. Look at this. Look at this bad boy. Look at him shooting his three things and then not shooting ever again. This is how this wand works. Holy shit! Ah! Uh, anybody have time to read? What the? What? 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 All right. Uh, basically. Okay. Basically, uh, there's a lot of bullets. It's a bulwark, but it's cooler. And you like swap out to it, and then you know you wait a bit, and then once that disappears, we'll swoop. You know, maybe we should actually wait, and then we'll swap out to it, and then we'll go back to normal. This is honestly like, this just seems like an incredible just DPS increase for any one class. I don't know what the fuck they're thinking with this one. Let's what? Let's huh? Let's just let wand classes lay down fire and then do whatever the hell they want and then... All right, it's a cool item idea. Will it be released in this state? Probably not. Should it be? <laughs> Probably not. But I like it. I like the idea. I like uh, where they're going with it. Next item we'll look at is the parasol. <clears throat> Very elegant. Will this make Kensei cool? The answer is no. Um, it's basically just like every other Kensei thing. Now, something interesting to note is that it has four uses instead of three. That's pretty neat. Um, but I think they all do the same thing. I don't think the different uses do different damage or cause different effects. It would be very interesting if they did different effects based on the bosses that they come from, but I don't believe that's the case. Not that it's an issue. Can't say either you like it or you hate it. Anyway, it has VIT. Scaling VIT. You're never going to use this. Let's be honest. You're never using that ever. Now, you may be wondering about the armor. So I guess we'll go look at that real quick to sate your curiosity. 40 MP cost to summon a controllable friendly spirit, which impedes enemies. Now, does anybody know what the hell impedes enemies means? Do you like seeing what you're doing? Do you like knowing what the hell is going on? Then do not touch this dagger mixed with this poison. You will, it's, it's just the 4th of July. Imagine understanding what is happening. Anyway, this dagger is really cool. Once again, a lot to read. Deck is going with the uh, tried and true method of giving us a dictionary for every new item, but at least they explain themselves. I don't know. This is an EP, but it's also not an EP. I imagine this sword will be good. Sorry, this dagger. I imagine it's going to be pretty good. Although, who's to say it is a dagger? When is the last time a dagger has been good? Hopefully it's right now. Please? I want this to be good. I want to believe. It kind of looks like a penis, though. Do you, do you see it? Balls and wieners. Next, Deca Games has done the unthinkable. They're making the Huntress kind of cool. And I want nothing more than to show you how cool the Huntress is in a Lost Halls. Apparently, I just, you know, I found it. The idea is... You hold the ability, rain falls three tiles away in the direction of your cursor, and it drains your MP. But why the f is it not doing anything? <laughs> now this armor, some people are excited about it. I probably am never gonna use it. It's minus 15 speed. That's, that's your effect. Some people want that. Now it also gives leather armor wearers you know, a nice curse effect. 
which is nice. Whenever they use their ability, they can curse. You know, it's making up for gaps in team composition and all that. That's cool. What's not cool to me is being a Huntress with 40 speed. I usually play with auto fire. I'm not gonna end up using this armor. And that wraps it up here for all the new content. I'm really excited to see a little bit more of it. I'm excited to sink myself into it a bit more. I like this more than the Steamworks, honestly. I think this is generally good game design with a few phases that do a, like way too little damage and a few phases that are just uh, -uh from me. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they change the balance. I think there's a little bit to be done here. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.